never gonna tell you when the schedule is, you fuckers. You missed it again. I'm such an edgelord. <laughs> no, I'm Venom. <laughs> I'm the cool loser from space. He's the normal loser. Come on. Listen. Come on. He's the Brock in this relationship. Okay, I'm okay. the Venom. He's listen, the Lydia. Listen. I'm the Beetlejuice. And I want to make sure that those two things are clear. This is not a us, whoever the us would be, against them. them. You don't know who the us is, you fat piece of shit. Do kids know what a day job is? That's right. It's the thing that keeps you barely alive long enough so that all you think about is suicide. Okay. So Tony Goldmark says says to the guy, so Tony Goldmark, so Molmark Ted, Tony guy, <laughs> it's not my fucking fault. It is not my fault. I knew that there was a thread. <laughs> that would have been funny if there was smoke right there. Edit out the burp. Hello there. My name is Michael Bennett, creator of... And this is Smoke and Madness. Fuck fart episode one. What's a fuck fart, you ask? It's a queef. I should probably say fuck fart for a better episode. What am I going to call this? I just was going to call it Bits and Bobs. I think that's stupid. <coughs> There's got to be a line untitling this that isn't fuck farts and isn't Bits and Bobs. Bits and fuck farts. Think about the way you say that you wish you weren't today. Do -do 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 Welcome to Smoke and Madness, Bits and Fuck Farts. And this episode is derived of episode, is, is derived of clips of shit that I didn't use. Some of it might be footage that didn't make it into any episode because it was probably about Lindsay or some shit. Me and Karen talked for a, a really long time, so there's a lot more of me and Karen talking about different things. It's kind of like those video game episodes, but with all the boring talking things that you don't give a shit about. Bye! <laughs> Moving on. Oh, this one's going to be a crazy. To be completely honest with you. To be this, honest. Their false flags are getting so sloppy. Oh, baby. The, the narratives are falling apart. The I mean, narratives. I'm on Twitter and I'm reading all these people who are saying, uh -huh. wow, even my liberal friends are saying it's obvious that this is a false flag. Yeah. From Democrat volunteers, uh -huh. from the Center for Progress. The Center for Jackie Progress. Jackie Rosen's okay. campaign for U.S. Senate in Nevada. What the fuck is this? The texts are in Spanish and English. War talk? They say what F the Donald Trump. They say F Dean the Heller, our United this? States Senator. Wait, 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 wait. F? Friend Donald Trump? <laughs> Get in line. Vote now during early voting and vote again during the election. They say you... Did they... Oh my God, did they do that? Did they say there was gonna, they were gonna do voter frauds? Did they say that? Need a car? We'll get your car, we'll get you in the polls. Did they say they would get you a car? Did you say they would get them a car? We'll do it in Spanish, you know? Did you do, they'll do it in Spanish? To speak English. We're just doing it to speak English. Same guys behind this caravan. And guess what the people in the caravan have been rehearsed? A script and what they're saying. Donald Trump is the Antichrist and he's going to hell. Those are the same words they used in the email, excuse me, in the text. This is me responding. Me, they're supposed to be going to illegal aliens, clearly, in the state of Nevada. They want them to vote. They want them to vote multiple times, illegally multiple times. And they said Trump's the Antichrist and he's going to hell. The same words. Listen. If anyone tries to get you to sell their like product and they talk with this enthusiasm, it's probably an MLM. If they sound like this guy, they're trying to fuck you out of your money more than they're trying to help you make money. Just so you know. People who sound like this are lying. 
Because I gotta keep talking. You gotta keep talking. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. I'm just like, I got a lot of things to say, is all. The Jesus Christ is a bad guy at the same time. They don't like Jesus Christ, but they're also afraid of the Antichrist, which is weird. It'd be weird that you didn't like Jesus and you were into the, but if they're into the Antichrist, then are they coming here to summon the Antichrist? And what, what is going on with these Mexican caravans? This little, this fat, this fat, like, like, okay. <laughs> Sometimes, like, you can't help but man spread a little. And I do try, I am trying to recognize that. If I'm in a public place, I actually don't want people to touch me. So I deliberately, I like suck in all my shit. It's not because I'm like conscious of being, cause like, fuck, there's balls and dick here, ladies. Sorry that there's balls and dick here, but I need some room for my balls and dick. All your shit's tucked in, unable to be destroyed easily by machinery or animal, okay? Just like, like, for the one time, like, like things go okay for ladies, all right? All your shit is on the inside. Get off my, my fucking butthole about my legs being at a slight V. I, I know it's been said to death, and I'm not trying to, like, fucking turn this into some, like, men's rights thing, but, like, it real like, it diminishes your point when you make all these good points, and then you're like, and then manspreading, oh, God. F fuck, fuck you. But anyway, this guy, sometimes you manspread because you're so fucking fat, your legs are just kind of sticking out like a fucking toad. It's, it's still fine, like, how, this guy's taking up fucking, uh, three seats. This is a three-seater, this piece of shit. And their false flags are just, they're getting so poorly orchestrated uh -huh. and, and executed that part of me wonders if this is a white hat operation. A white hat? Man on that theorize that this is a white hat operation oh. to get the National Guard and the military in the major cities to not raise too many red flags and not to cause too much chaos and too much concern to prepare people for the mass arrest. I mean, this, this, if this truly is a deep state false flag, it is so poorly done. You know, I know Q said- I didn't have stupid, that in my- it's so Shut hard. up, you crazy bleach. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Calm down, baby. Calm down. All right. It's a false flag operation because what? There's, it was a guy with like mental problems. But I, I want to do a thing where I kind of have a discussion about something in terms that I can edit later. And I wanna see if that's functional for me to do practically as a bunny perspective alternative. Yeah, they're like shotgun shells. You, know. you get cool shit in the south, I guess. Ninja division and uh, super dungeon explorer. And one day I'm gonna do a video about how I've been waiting four fucking years. We're going on four fucking years on this Kickstarter that they're behind. Look what happened to your precious Tumblr. <laughs> Where'd your penises go, fools? Ah, the Twitter where I live. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? So quick side tangent. Yeah. I wrote this out on Twitter and I was like, you guys realize that a big portion of this is because of Apple, right? Like you realize this? And people were like, uh, no, it's not. I'm like, no, it certainly fucking is. And as of today, both Facebook and Google got their shit taken down from Apple. Oh. I'm like, guys, you don't know what the fuck's going on. I work for an app company, and basically what's happening is there's this big, like, crush to bake all apps, or at least most apps, um, 18 plus. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, this is a huge fucking deal. It basically passed through the state of California, and it's supposed to go into full effect May 2019. So that's why like Tumblr got hit so fucking hard because their uh, shit was just like all oh, like 18 plus. Right, right. But now Facebook and everything's gonna get hit. Like this is just the beginning of the fucking storm. Like everything's gonna get fucking hit. Well, I mean, Here's fun fact. Well, but I mean that's the thing is is that there, everything is a scrambled up version of that, right? Because mm -hmm. then I can go blah blah blah. I hope I now I don't want Disney to get their hooks into Spider Verse because they'll fuck it up. Here's my badge. And uh, I got one of these acrylic. Um, the uh, at the convention actually has a bunch of mascots, and it's these two girls and uh, this little. Uh... Oh, he's actually over here too. I'm a sucker for for fucking plushies. Uh, and this fucking this one's really fucking close to my heart, cause like they didn't have any this year, so they they had sold out last year or the year before. And, uh, but I got him the first year they had him, which was two years ago, and I didn't bring him. 
But yeah, various uh, various things back here uh, I got at, at Kami. Um, I'm really happy with this guy, this dick nose guy over here. You can see uh, I got a, uh, this is a cat plush and it's, uh, I'll move the camera so you can see. Spider Gwen as a little cat. Um, and Heather got this because she, it, it, it looks adorable on her and I look like a, a mess. <sighs> oh, excuse me. What was I talking about again? I should just do a bunch of those. Oh yeah. Like huh? <laughs> Don't, you be in the middle of my bit. <coughs> Heather, queen of bit ruiners because she can't hold her tongue until I'm done with my bit. Oh, that was too mean, wasn't it? Heather, queen ruiner of bits. You bench. At one point, it turned into, I'm making the bunny perspective so I have an excuse to live stream. What, is, what that told me was, what I was doing on those live streams was more important to me than making the bunny perspective. So I should have leaned into that, obviously. And I did when I when it was mostly all I could do. And I had the perfect excuse of we're building the studio. There's no way, you know what I mean? So I'll just stream. And that's when we had some of the best stuff happening. And this is before Lindsay and them showed up. Like just people would show up and we'd have these cool ass conversations and we'd spin off into these random things and tangents. And it rarely was ever any kind of argument. And usually you come out at the end of it, people were having a good time. And then eventually it was just more and more people would show up. And... Okay, but it sounds like originally, at least the original intent is that you, you had this thing, the bunny perspective, you yeah. brought people over to the live stream, yeah. but there was no one out, like besides for people coming in that you invited, like, hey, you want to jump on? We'll talk for a bit. Yeah, sure. Okay. There, it was a more natural ebb and flow, but now it sounds like, and again, correct me, it sounds more like you're looking for these connections versus the actual process of creating something. You know what I mean? Well, no, I just think, I think we're in the, it, it, the what I was doing then has never resonated more now than it ever. You know I mean, there's more of what I was doing then now. Do you, you know what I mean? Like it, it, like podcasts are essentially just a bunch of people fucking around and they just pick whatever the dumbass theme is to fuck around with, right? I'm just saying, like, like our excuse to talk, our, our excuse to talk was to talk about Spider Verse, but we haven't talked in so long. <clears throat> that's impossible for us not to discuss the fact that we both had, you know, this, all this miserable. And also, I, I likewise had a period where I wasn't really doing any creating at all for three years. Hey, uh, Mac. Eat. No one cares what your stupid dog opinion is. <gasps> My stupid dog opinion is good, though. I'm a cute. You can't vote. Hey, we're back up to two viewers. What is your weird little problem? He got so used to sleeping with you. <laughs> oh, bad dog. You're a terrible dog, dog. All right. And there's probably some tobacco in there, too. Persecuting the Christians. And most of all, the love of money is the root of all this evil. There's money behind abortion, and there's lots of it. There's money behind this perversion, and there is lots of it. However, that is what is only on that surface. There's another surface below. And it's Satan's last, time, last stand to steal a nation. But I'll show you. I'll tell you. Is this an actual poem? This bill has absolutely nothing to do with equality, compassion, or protection. No, Holy it has shit. a totally different purpose. Oh my God. It is the first major move. Oh my God, her hair. the 2020 election. I can't not look at her hair. It is the very strategic plan of the de <laughs> demonic party. Her hair. Her hair was made by the Henson Creature Shop. But the whole point is God's kind of using him in spite of himself. What I really like about Donald Trump, he reminds me of a baby Christian. He reminds me of somebody that just comes out of a really rough life where they just did anything they wanted to do. Whether yeah. Go to yes. sleep, America. Yes. Whatever, right? yes. yeah. And I would see that in our church. And I always said, I want my church full 
of drunks and prostitutes and all the I do. I wanted them there, right? Because I knew this is the hospital they need to be oh in. Oh, my God. And Trump kind of reminds God has really dealt with me that if our president is assassinated, it will be judgment on America. God's. It's you and the stump of the fucking family tree you're protecting. Them being uh, gay communities, it is the LGBTQ against democracy, freedom, and the First Amendment. You have this a guy's grin adorable is daughter. And I happen to have heard from a very reliable source and that they've had people sort of undercover uh -huh. checking out the Democratic Party. They've changed the name of their party. In the last election, they kind of almost hid everything they were going to do, and they spent all their time bashing Trump to to pull the attention off of what they really were after. What were they really after? Which was a horrible thing. <gasps> horrible. They wanted to take control of our children, <gasps> of the school. <gasps> they're going to let every child, even in elementary school, decide if they were a male or a female. No, no, they're gas. They all the boys and all the girls' bathrooms. Oh. I mean, it was really horrible. Ah. That's only a little bit of what Hillary had planned. Oh, and geez. Like she was used by the Democratic Party anyway. They wanted oh, somebody weak really enough they could control. I agree with and that. the agenda oh. for the Democratic Party yep. is to rule. Grandma, what? What would happen if a few years from now, when they're teens, young adults, they came to you and said that they think that they might be gay or lesbian? What? If, oh my God, Hatred? Michael. Absolutely. Damn it, Damn it, Michael. Damn it, Michael. Uh, oh, oh. Let's just go back. Again. You have a adorable daughter and a precious son. Okay, who's her editor? So whoever wrote this uh, fucking bit, this uh, this little segue, can I can I make a note before we move on? Okay, here's my note. Okay, Get my ten. Uh, be less creepy. Where were we? All right, Ben Shapiro. Why does why are there any Christians listening? to Ben Shapiro. Why are there any conservatives listening to Ben Shapiro? First of all, as a Christian, you need to know this. Ben Shapiro openly denies the deity of Jesus Christ. He says as a Jew, he has no reason to need a Christian savior. I, um, um, I, uh, when I, when I saw this video, I hadn't really seen like, what Ben Shapiro? Like I hadn't seen a lot of Ben Shapiro's stuff. Like he's like a, he was a word. Like he was a guy in the background of my brain, and I knew kind of, you know, like he was part of the alt right or whatever. But why are there so many concerns? Because he's a fucking he easily like, hates everything that you guys hate. You hate trans people, and you hate gays, and you hate and, you, and all this other shit. Like he loves hating all that stuff. Maybe you should watch him for a minute before you start getting all judgy. I can't believe you're making me defend Ben Shapiro. You fucking gross baby, baby boomer looking motherfucker. Blech. Ugh. Actually, you know what? Um, go on hating Ben Shapiro. It's probably better for everybody. To be honest. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, I interrupted this because I didn't really say anything during that clip. And I thought that there was a point to it. I guess what the point is, is it's confusing to defend somebody who's being hit with anti-Semitism, who he himself is a bad person. It's like if you were to say a racial slur at Bill Cosby, or if you were to say a Jewish slur at Woody Allen. Do they deserve abuse? Yes. But is that the reason why they deserve abuse? No. Okay, I think I made a point. Bye. Yeah, he got, there's a big article that just came out of all this super inappropriate shit he's been doing with minors. And there's all these really cringy really inappropriate photos of him photobomb. At any rate, my convention is Comic-Con, and I wasn't going to mention them until they got rid of them, and they got rid of them. So um, I was going to subtly bring that in, but there's no way to bring it in. They got, but it's like, the names of the, it was like the kid who plays Finn and Estelle, who, you know, in, from, uh, and as a, for Garnet, for uh, 
Steven Universe. And then in the middle is this fucking creepy guy, and he looks like Sting if Sting was into fucking minors, which, okay. Oh, wait, is he the guy who kind of is? This is this really hard? He looks like Sting. So wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna guess this. Is it the guy who plays fucking Ed? Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy who plays Ed. Yeah, he looks like a fucking weird Sting ripoff. Yeah, yeah, I said that he looks like if Sting got hit in the face with a shovel, and I, I stand by it. But it's actually if Sting were a Christian rocker, because he's a Christian rocker. Oh, that suddenly makes a whole lot more fucking sense. Oh my god, it's so fucking creepy. Like, this, this girl was Jewish, and she's in line, and she's a fan of Ed, doesn't know that this guy's a creep. And she, he signs it, and it is the regular secular album that he has. And he goes, huh, hey, I got a Christian album here. And she goes, oh, I'm Jewish. And then he's just like, says something to the effect of, we could change your mind about that. It was like real cringy. I'm a strawberry. Violet, you're turning violet. Violet, you're turning violet, violet. Now it's roast beef. What's that? What's that weird, viscous, salty flavor? I came in it. Nope. It sounds like you're just a has been. If I never was anything, how could I have been a has been? And yeah, see you guys uh, in the next video. So far, Game of Thrones is really bad. Woo! Woo! Uh, it's bad on an unprecedented level. Uh, I really hate it. Um, this last season has made me really, 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 really hate the show. And it's not for a lot of these plebe reasons. Though, like, there's a lot of people that like hate that Arya killed the Night King. And granted, I am recording this the week before the last episode of all of it's going to come out. Um, I feel like I was put off of this season because of the last two or three seasons. Game of Thrones is garbage now. I, they just, I, I, I don't weird that all Jon Snow had to do was make out with Danny and she would have been fine. Game of Thrones in the early seasons, like 80% of the story was taking place while characters were moving around. I think I was really sick of the show when they brought back Jon Snow because killing Jon Snow was such a fucking gut punch because they killed him at the end of the season and everyone's like, they're going to bring him back. And I was like, they really shouldn't. And they did. A show where death is highly permanent. They just brought that guy back. I don't have to watch child murder in my Game of Thrones. Like, we already had the child prostitution ring. That was pretty fucked. One of the things I forgot to talk about in Game of Thrones is that they deliberately tanked the whole thing so they could go work on Star Wars. Oh yeah, 100%. Boycott Star Wars? Me. <laughs> uh, anything else? I mean, if somebody else is watching it in their home, I might sit down and watch it, but I'm not going to the movie theater. I'm not buying it. Oh, no, I wasn't going to go to the movie theater for it. Anything you want to add to the video? Um, no. Like, if you were in the video right now and you wanted to say something into that camera to go into the video in this context, camera. <laughs> okay. Um, so... White hats are not real. False flags are also not real. Um, that creepy guy should stop talking. But, uh, who do you think I was talking about when I was talking about Venom and uh, Beetlejuice? Um, I don't know. Hilarious. Who are you no, I'm not going to say. Guess what? This part's all going in after I eat the cereal, but before the very ending. Oh, joy. Because I'm recording all of this. Oh, joy. What else do you want to say before you go? Um, I love my boyfriend. Show him, put the hat on so it shows oh, that yeah. you're cute. Well, now we've done everything. We've tied everything up.
And now this is some bonus content for everybody that's uh, on the premiere, but I cut off the ending. Mo bovine. Tongue and slap your brains out trying to get to it. It was good. Might have gone on for a bit long, but... I don't care.